What's up guys, C Tankit here. This is the intro to my video. Um, it's not the day of the day we shot this video. It is actually a couple days later. But I didn't make an intro, so this is going to be the intro to the video. So today we're going to go work on Fetty Drop and get some of the front suspension um, a little bit more done on it. And I have a couple friends that are going to come over. Um, Carlos, known as Moto Dude on Instagram, and also Wolf from Crown Suspension. You guys can go check out their Instagrams below. And I'm going to go with my dad and my uncle Rob. So follow them on Instagram as well. It'll all be in the description. And yeah, so we're going to take off right now, go get some gas, and then head over to the shop. So yeah, see you guys there. All right, so we're out here gassing up. Got my uncle Rob in the super clean OBS. My dad in the F250. What's up, Dad? Say what's up. So yeah, on our way to Pomona, work on Putty Drop. Let you guys know we're there. And this right here, it's my uncle Rob. Say what's up. How you guys doing? Everyone good? All right, so that's my uncle Rob right there. He's in charge of all the buffing. We're actually going to his shop right now, so thanks to him for allowing this build to be possible. And yeah, you guys will see more of him and probably a lot more of the videos, so. Yeah, let you guys know we're there. See ya. Alright guys, so we're here at the hangar and this is Fetty Drop. This is right here, my dad's putting in some work. And uh, I'm about to rip out all the brake lines under from underneath so that we can go a little bit further. As you can see, there's the rear quarter belt notch. There's the four link right there. Everything else. Shot a score by syndicate. The full portable suspension. Portable arms, cross member. Crown suspension, drop spindles. Back on this side. There it is. Alright, uh, we're gonna put in some work right now. Got the GoPro filming from a bit, so you guys will see a little time lapse. Alright, so we're under the truck right now, as you can see, and to remove all the brake lines, you have to take these little clips off that go all down the frame. See the one here, there's one right here, and one right here. So you gotta remove all those from all over the frame, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna, we already unhooked it from the rear brake, so then we're just gonna yank them out from the back. So let me do that. Alright, so on Fetty Drop, I am keeping the truck six lug for the wheels that I'm running on it. And for the rear, I'm using a K5 rear end. And for the front, I'm using CPP six lug conversion kit. So thank you to John Arnold for that. And right now, my dad is going to be packing the bearings because that's what you need to do to make the six lug fit on the spindles. And right now he's using an old school trick. There are multiple gloves and he's just packing the bearings by hand. He's just using some Master Pro grease, high temp disc brake. So as you can see he's just kind of shoving the grease into the bearing itself. I prefer to wear gloves so you don't make a mess. So then he comes back to me later on in the day after lunch. He's going to take those units and he's going to break some See the grease coming through? Mm hmm. Like you said, you got to make sure it comes through the other side of it so you know it's fully in there. Knock, knock. What's up, Brandon? Hi. I got something hurt. It's possible to have too much in there. Mm, you're just gonna make a mess, but you can see, see how it's all in the crevices. See how it pushed itself through and it's coming through yeah. in between the metal. Yeah. So spin it. Do some on this side.
Not the cleanest. But it works. And then once you do that, you gotta hammer them in. You'll see him do that right now. And by changing the bearings, it makes it easier to fit over the spindle that we're using. Since it's gonna be six lugs, so we have to get a six lug. Um, no, I'm sorry. Um, it doesn't matter on the spindle, it's just the bearings. So we're changing all that right now. And yeah. Throw the seal in there. Hammer tap. Oops. Edit that. So CBP's six lug conversion kit comes with all the bearings and dust caps and all the hardware you need for it. So it's all right here. So we're just gonna put them on. For now, we're not gonna put the dust caps on just yet. So that seal on the back side, mm -hmm. that'll hold that bearing no problem. It won't fall out. But okay. this one you got to pay, pay attention to because the only thing that's going to hold that bearing in will be the washer and the nut. Okay. So we got it all on. Looking good? Yeah, I just let me get a towel. Hold that right there. Hold it. Hold it on. And then there's also this groove in that washer. So that'll sit. Oh, okay, so the groove so the washer doesn't spin? Yep. And you put your cast on that on, see that hole mm -hmm. in the spindle? So you'll tighten this down. Once you get it tight, you want it snug so that the rotor will spin, but doesn't necessarily uh, stop. So well, for now, we're just gonna put the nut on. Can we watch videos again? Yeah, hold on, bro. Dang, now it's a six look. Look at that. We'll put the cap on and stuff later. For now, let's just get it creased. I like it. So, let's throw the bag in, huh? Yeah. Side. Yeah, so now we can install the bag since we got the hub on. Alright, so right now I'm just going to install the bag. So, need. Three bolts in total, two for the top, one for the bottom. These ones all snug. Grab the other one. Then you're gonna need to flex the bag this way so you can put the other bolts in. And right here underneath, there's a little slot in the bottom of the A-arm. 
and then you're just going to want to line up your bolt with the hole. I'll show you guys that right now once I get it in, once I get the bolt in. Huh? No. No? Not enough? No, I can push it up though, right? No, you gotta get, probably need a jack. Jack. Let me get the jack. So, this is the uh, bottom of the A-arm right here, and this is the slot. Porterbilt arms. Yeah, Porterbilt arms. Big shout out to Porterbilt for helping me out with this. And right there, not the green dot, but that right there, this, my finger's on. Right there, that's where this bolt goes right here. And then that holds the bottom of the uh, bag in. So, yeah. And the bolt's not long enough because as you can see right here, you can see right here there's some space and it's just because there's no pressure on the suspension right now so if there's no pressure on the suspension it can't be in its normal form so we got to use the jack right here we're going to use the jack to uh just jack up the arm a little bit so that i can get the bolt on and as you can see put a little rag on it so we don't mess up any of the paint or nothing Smart move by dad. Shot at the portabilt. Airlift. We out here breathing on it. We jacked it up. So, wow. Awesome. We jacked it up, so now I can do this. See, now there's a bunch of room for the bolt to go in. Make sure you're in the center. Yeah, you're gonna make, you wanna make sure you're pretty centered inside of this slot right here. Get it as snug as possible. Hand tight. And then once you get that in, it'll be good. So yeah, that's how you install the bag. And let's get out so you guys can see the whole thing. So hub, spindle, upper arm, lower arm, bag. Porterbilt, more Porterbilt, Crown Suspension, CPP, AccuWare. Get it in? Yeah. Okay. Get the wrench to tighten That's that. Now I'm going to tighten it all up. Alright, so right now I'm going to take out the uh, heater core. So this right here, this right here, and here's the interior of the truck. It's kind of dirty right now. Got to get that cleaned up pretty bad. Um, here's some more porter built. And shout out to Dino. Dino Chevy only get down. And um, yeah, so I'm gonna take the glove box door off, then that'll let me access all this stuff to take the heater core off, etc. etc. Let me get that done real quick. Alright, so another thing we're doing today is tightening up the ball joints. And by doing that, I'm going to put this nut on. And then you're gonna to want to put the yeah, it's called a castle nut. And you're gonna to want to put this pin in here. This pin's gonna go through. You're gonna make sure you tighten it so you can see that little hole right there. And you're gonna slide this through like that. Make sure it goes all the way in. Then you're gonna to want to bend this piece down and then this piece up so it prevents it from spinning off and on and stuff like that. So let me do that real quick. He brought his K5. And you're working. This is um crown suspension. He's the one that helped me out with my drop spindles. So yeah, this truck's outrageous. It's my first time seeing it topless. Normally it has a white top on it. You guys would see. Go check out his Instagram, Crown Suspension or Wolf Designs. It's all of him. So we just got everything tightened down on the hub. You just got this all tightened down, put the cotter pin inside of it. And what you want to do is you want to tighten this till this doesn't move and then turn it back a quarter of a turn so that it does spin a little bit. And then make sure the cotter pin's in. And then after about 100 miles of driving, it will check it since the truck is so custom. 
Um, as for if it was a normal truck, you'd want to check to from 300 to 500 miles. So right now we're putting on the dust cap. side got to do the same thing so front end looking pretty good liking the way it's looking so this is what it looks like complete I'm gonna put the wheels on there call it the next video or next two videos so yeah got that stuff on and a little later we're gonna put the this is my gas tank and then this is my AccuWare so I'll do another video on my AccuWare, talking about it, and then another one installing it. Now that you guys saw that we put on the front hubs, I took out the heater core and showed you guys like how to pack bearings, etc, etc. Um, so I just wanted to say thanks for watching and I really appreciate all the support I'm getting. I recently hit 100 subscribers and I think I'm at 125 right now. So I'm just, I keep growing so thank you guys for that. And I also, me and my dad recently made some of these. So big shout out to my dad for helping me out finding out how to make these. but. They are Fetty Drop banners. They're one foot high and two feet wide. So let me know in the comments below if you guys would be interested in getting yourself one of those because um, we can make them to sell. So if you guys want some, comment below. And if I get enough that enough of you guys that want some, then we'll definitely make a run of them and send them out to you guys. Comment below and hope to see you guys in the next video. Videos to come soon are AccuAir review and hopefully install. Uh, you guys will see my Boyd gas tank get um, on the frame. Probably won't mount it completely, but just so you guys can get a look on how it's going to look on the frame and how easy it is to mount and how it's going to just fit perfectly. So, yeah, look forward to those, and I'll see you guys in the next video.